Dear Diary, the date today is December 18th of 2022. This is my 2015 Infiniti Q70L. And I know that when I try to start it, it's not going to work. But my main reason for coming here is to get that mileage right there. 117107. And then I'll turn it off. I already know that my battery needs replacement. And so today's video is being recorded mainly for that purpose. Came prepared for it. I've got a battery replacement, replacement battery. I've got a tripod over here, so I'll do my best to share the process. I'd like it to be real time, but we'll see how that works out. It's pretty cold out here. I'm located in Terre Haute, Indiana, and I believe the temperature today is, we've got a high of 29 maybe, something like that. So first things first, sometimes what you do is you look at the battery you have to try and figure out, the, you know, the right battery to, to get. But I can already tell by experience and just by the dimensions that this battery looks a little too small for the vehicle. Um, so when I went to AutoZone, I got a replacement ba battery that's a 24F. Uh, 750 cold cranking amps, reserve capacity of 130. That's same battery that's used by the M56, FX50, and even the M45. So I don't know the specs on this one here. Never heard of a Sting Star, but all I know is that the vehicle has needed jumping a few times. A few other times it started, yeah, but it's been very like lucky. So, um, I guess eventually just demanded to be replaced. So I put the phone on the tripod and I'm going to do my best to show this and to show the process of replacing it. So you already saw me remove this compartment here, right? First thing. That's the battery cover. It does say battery over there. Set that off to the side. Then on this one here, I'm looking for, I've got some 10 millimeter tools. They'll come in handy. Flathead, yes. And uh, long nose pliers. And the long nose pliers, I'm, um, I'd use it the same way I'd use the flathead really to remove that, these clips. Two. I'm sorry I can't bring the phone any closer right now. One complaint I used to hear back in the day was how shaky the videos were because I was trying, trying to work with one hand and show hold the camera, so just Take it for me that we do have push clips here in these locations. And as long as I don't get too cold and have to run inside, it's going to be a real time video, no edits. I love those. Two, four. There's another one in here. And I think that's the reason I brought this one a little deeper hey okay so far that can be taken out but we're not done yet there's one here, right here. Can the camera catch that? Yes. One here and another one here. These hold a cowl cover, okay? So let's go for that. Well, I'm just 
was thinking, have I made a video on battery replacement on an Infiniti M56 before? I can't remember. But the other day we were tallying up how many videos I had out there. And we're at close to 700 public videos. I've got like 50 that are private, either timing and or duplicate videos or videos that were too long even for my even in my you know even by my standards so i've got a lot of stuff out there okay so this one is loose on the two places i've shown this in several videos but there's a tab over here i'm going to pull this off just so i can show that tab but to loosen this there is a tab over here I'm going to release that. There you go. That works. And then pull this without really, oh, okay. I'll have to work this clip in back in here. Came out of that hole. Okay, so. My hands are getting a little hard right now. <sighs> this is where the 10 millimeter tools uh, come to play. So in the past, I was a little more adventurous. What I'd do is I'd jump the car because the vehicle still has a little bit of power, right? You saw that. I would jump the car, then disconnect the connections, put a sock over the uh, positive so that I wouldn't lose my settings, but in all honesty, it's a little risky and the cars are getting more expensive and much nicer, so I don't want to risk anything. And two, these cars, the most important thing, I guess, to me was the the radio settings. And they don't really lose the radio settings. They'll keep the radio settings. But yes, you will have to reset your windows, your sunroof some, sometimes, um, and then your memory seating position. And since the vehicle is in my position right now, I shouldn't really have to worry about that, right? Just get in and set it in and set it again. So let's go. Ever wondered why the positive is usually covered and the negative is not? Well, if you think about it, everything else in the, in the car, every other piece of metal is negative, is ground. So you need to protect this from touching anything else that is around there. That is why I, I didn't want to play that game anymore. Lift this up. You could usually remove the whole thing. There you go. Remove the whole thing. Come at it with a 10 milli. I'm putting my hands in my pocket, you know, in alternating fashion. Let's <laughs> keep me warm. This wasn't very tight but doesn't mean that this was loose. It's actually pretty, it's okay. Cobwebs. Crazy, huh? <laughs> okay. That's released from there, but not fully. And you know, it's not fully flexible yet. I usually pull this part up. There you go. That gives me way more room right there. Okay, now I'm going to get a different type of 10 millimeter tool. Yep, just checking the video, make sure it's still recording. This one is much longer, this one here. So sometimes you can get it to get out. This one here, there's a cutout too. Much shorter. I think I'll be able to show you what the housing looks like once I remove the the hold down bracket 
they are both J brackets, J hooks. I'm trying, make sure you don't touch both terminals of the battery because it still has some juice. Come on, oh, we got it. Perfect, so this is what we have. Can you see that? All right, one side is shorter. And the magic is being able to hook, well, hook this one towards a, a hole towards the front of the vehicle. This one has a hole towards the back of the vehicle, and then you can tighten. So we'll we'll deal with that on the way in. Uh, oh, nice! It's got a handle. So we'll grab that. I was trying to read the battery specs on this thing, and I can't see anything on it distributed by master battery sizes and everything but look at that something's lacking somewhere right yeah all right so this is where we are this is the hole i was talking about on the back side on the front side you can see it over there all right and we've got a sleeve Am I gonna use it? Yes, if it fits. Probably need to go at it that way. Oh yeah, definitely gonna use it. That's gonna work. Okay, so we're ready to, to install it. Just take this time to look around. Nice and snug, right? Red for positive. This one here, we're good to go. I've got my ink pen, my paint pen, foil pen, right? And the the battery does say 1222 on it, which just says December, but I usually write when I installed it in the vehicle, which is usually when you buy it. Okay, so the date. 12, 18, 22. Mileage was 117107, right? If nothing, even if, at least I've got the date. Sometimes, because I've got so many vehicles that use the same battery, can get confusing, especially if AutoZone did not do their part in entering it. And talking of which, I haven't talked about why I bought from AutoZone. Uh, I do have another video recorded on that. But proximity, the fact that I always live in small towns, but they almost always have an AutoZone. So AutoZone, Walmart, O'Reilly's, I love Infinity batteries and they last a really long time, but the one and a half hours away from me, I wasn't going to bother with the inconvenience of that, you know? So, okay. Let's do the hard, hardware stuff. I'm losing feeling right now. <laughs> Some people don't do all this, but if you've watched my videos long enough, you know that I rarely skip steps. <laughs> That's why I reinstalled the sleeve. From experience, it's going to be much easier to install the backside first. This thing is so short that it just works better that way. And if you're in doubt, if you've tossed this thing around and you're not sure what side is the front and the back, you've got an arrow over here that lets you know that it should be going this way so let's do that
Um, I'm tempted to install this just because I don't have much surface area to work with, but you don't want to go too deep either, that you can't, that it's too tight. Just enough to give me something to hold, right? Feeling around for the hole. Have to lift this first. Find the hole. Sideways, but well, it's not going to do much good. But we'll try. I'm being a little hard-headed about this. In all honesty, most people just skip a few steps. <laughs> oh, there you go. There it is. Snug, and I realized that my two in 2022, the last two has been covered. So I might need to redo it. The whole point of writing was to have the date on there. <laughs> But yeah, we got the back. As I said, some people just leave that out. Um, if you've been watching my videos long enough, you know I'm stubborn about leaving things in perfect work, factory condition, if I can. And that's why I use that sleeve, you know? Otherwise I would've just chucked that as well. This one will not be too bad to work with. I feel like I jinxed myself. Come in from the bottom. Oh, don't drop it. Okay, finally. One of the things that bother me, huh? So it's, just get it snug. You don't have to tighten it so much until the case breaks. This part is, um, I'd say it's a little, maybe, I wouldn't say controversial, just it's a matter of choice. Someone could say, well, why did you secure that? Why did you go through the trouble of securing this thing before testing the battery, making sure it is good? I mean, part of it is a little bit of trust in the system. Um, done this hundreds of times, it's worked but this could be the one time it doesn't, right? Statistics exist for a reason. But 
The other thing is that I wanted to make sure nothing was loose while I was playing around. I did not want to secure my terminals and then end up having to move the battery around and loosen the terminals. So, that's why I did it the way I did it. Okay, so let's go for this. Pull this up. Let's get our positive terminal ready. I'm just working the rubber garment right now. That's all I'm doing. Nice and snug. And so is that. Okay. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and get the 10 millimeter tool. It's probably in my pocket. Yes, it is. You know what? I gotta, I gotta do this. They usually sell this terminal grease stuff, and normally I don't bother with it. Again, just experience, but. This time they were able to convince me to buy this stuff. And the reason is he gave me a 10% discount on the battery. So I was like, yeah, so this is what it is. Battery terminal protector, I'm gonna use it. I, I generally do not, do not feel pressure to use it. I'm going to have to release this video in two versions, a short version and a long version. <laughs> yeah, so this is why I said earlier, I didn't want to play the games I might've played in the past with the positive terminal, just because of things like this. Okay, so let's do this again. Okay, this is the point where it gets magical. Once I put the negative terminal on, it's gonna spark, if the battery's good. It did not, but I can hear motors running inside the car. Protect myself, protect the car. Cover the positive terminal. Now we can keep working here. Okay. This should be the end of our process, but we're gonna go inside and test out the vehicle. Okay. Try to start it. Look at that. Yep. It's great. So um, you'll notice that I've lost a few things. I've lost my trip A, lost my trip B, right? The tripometers have been lost. 
um, my windows, uh, windows down. The auto down always works, but the auto up does not. So I'm just going to reset all those. them click good test yep 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 okay uh, my memory positions when they blink and go off that means you don't have any memory positions so I'm going to set that's it ones saved uh, my Bluetooth settings, I haven't lost my phone and stuff. Let me turn down the volume. Show my radio stations, if I have one. I can't remember if I bothered with radio stations here. See, I have a preset list over there. Still saved it. That's, I think that's exactly what I listened to. I think. <laughs> Check the sunroof. It's working. As I said, sometimes you lose a sunroof, sometimes you don't. Then setting um, others comfort. A lot of these things might have defaulted to off. Lift steering wheel and exit. I want that off. And this uh, sliding the driver's seat. I want that off as well. So that's about it. Pretty much that's that's all. So we're good to go. So at this point, might as well go back and put everything back together because everything is good to go, okay? So, yeah, let's go ahead and set the camera back on the stand. This is going to be for the, for the long version of the video. I'll be showing myself, uh, I'll be showing the process of putting everything back together. So I had started working on this just independently, but I decided to undo that so that I can talk through the process of installing this, you know? So I removed this. I already took care of that clip on that side that was missing that I'd already, you know, I, I already installed that. But on this side, I wanted to talk about the, the method of actually working it in. So over here, you can see a hole. There is a, uh, a rubber shield on this side, on this side of the windshield, on the bottom of the windshield, basically, that usually directs water a certain way. So that needs to clip in here. But on the way in, at least the way that's worked for me best is this slide it over and you've got hooks underneath see this bulky part it needs to go underneath the metal cowl it needs to go un underneath the glass sorry it needs to go underneath the glass and you've got this lip over here this also needs to go underneath the, the glass will go in here basically so that's what I was I was trying to work on earlier trying to finagle it so that it goes under under the glass but at the same time, I'm looking at both sides, making sure that it's squarely seated, okay? There's a gap over there, so I'm going to push it that way. Looks like that's done, but I'm going to come here, push it in, let's make sure everything's good. Push it down here as well. Remember the clip we had to release, that trigger? Yeah. 
work on that. It's not fully seated, I can tell. Okay, heard a snap pop now. Finally, I had to use my hands in there. It's lined up on the hole over here. This hole over here is lined up as well. Oh, I turned off the video accidentally. Okay, so it's lined up on this hole. Lined up on this hole. Here, the clip is going over. And to make sure everything seats the way it should so that water flows the right path. Uh, so here, it's fine. This is the rubber thing I was talking about, this one right here. Okay, make sure that's seated and I'm going to... Is someone mowing today? Huh, okay. It's like middle of December, that's why I'm wondering who's mowing right now. Okay, get my push clips. Start working on those one by one. Okay, push. Nice and good. And this one here. Trying to push it underneath the strut thing. Oh yeah, take into account that, I guess. Okay. Looks like it's well seated. And all the other push clips should be used on this one. One broken leg. See how this works out. I guess I'll say what I was gonna say because I heard that snap pop crackle. I was gonna say, I suppose this vehicle is new enough that the push clips are not all dry and br brittle that they break whenever you touch them but obviously the last one had to to tell me not to be too cocky huh knock me down a peg so i'd say our job here is pretty much done i like that i can see the the mileage uh the date is kind of hidden in there you can you can read it the first thing that i wrote is all the way in there all the way in there and the bracket was already covering it, so uh, I don't know how if we can do it any better, honestly. Maybe put a tag around it, but this is to me this is good enough. You know, this is way overkill for mo for most people. As I was saying earlier, some people don't even bother with this, don't bother with that. So it's whatever whatever floats your boat, really. I can happily say that we are done with the battery replacement on the Infiniti Q70.